just finished this last of the squashed frames before the explosion happens. So I go to the very topmost layer that's showing with the eyeball, and that's the nose. I hold down Option. I go to Layer, and I say Merge Visible. It creates a new fully opaque layer on top of everything. I have to select all of that. Command A is the shortcut to select it all. I then have to copy all of it. Command C is the shortcut to copy it all. I then move over to the stage and I have to paste it. Command V is the shortcut for pasting it. And it will go on top of my last layer that I have selected. So you can see that's a pretty big squash and change. We introduce eyebrows, we introduce a tongue. We don't even notice really that the whiskers change, but they do, that the nose drops down, but it does just slightly. And now we have to go back to our original and we have to deselect Command D, and then we have to take that merged layer, which should still be selected, and delete it so that we can change what's underneath. So now we get to the explosion. So now, instead of trying to match what I did last, I want to try to match this except for the icicles, right? So, what's the first thing I need to do? I need to, let's see, where's the nose? I have to drop the nose just a tiny bit more and maybe even shrink it. It's like the nose got a little big. First, I'm gonna shrink it just a tiny bit. Drop it. Up, oh, I shrunk it too much. Command Z is for. Shrink it a tiny bit. It's like lengthen it. Yes. Okay, next. The eyes. The eyes are going to get changed to the crossbars. Right there. The whites of the eyes get a little bit bigger. Let's see what's next. Just working down. The tongue. Gonna make that tongue groove 20% more visible. Instead of duplicating, just upping the opacity. The whiskers. Keep doing what I've been doing. Make them a little bit bigger. And a little bit more visible by five opacity points up to 90. The eyebrows, the eyebrows are good where they are. The tongue copy, gonna duplicate it, gonna stretch that tongue a little bit. Like so. Oh, actually, I don't need to worry so much about stretching it. I need to drop it down. Maybe lengthen it a little. Because there's actual black space showing. Eyeballs, I duplicate them. So much to remember. 
grow them. And then tilt them inwards a little bit. I think I overdid it. That looks pretty good. And now the mouth. I'm going to grab the mouth and just stretch it down. Mm. And I am going to rasterize it. So I'm going to merge the group and then rasterize it. But that did rasterize it. So now I can just warp the whole thing. First time I've had to lose the vector, but just for expedience sake. I need to raise the tongue a little. And then once the mouth is done, We're going to have the brain clouds appear. And we're going to have the half head appear. And we're going to get rid of the ears. They get blown off. The other head. And then there's something, I think I called it like the cross bar. And I want in there as well, if I still have it. It's this thing. Hopefully I didn't erase it. Oh, that's cool, little vampire kitty. Eye connector, that's what I called it. All right, I'm going to make a duplicate of that, shrink that in a little. All right, so the big explosion has now happened, so it goes from this now to this. And should I show the ears being detached from the head? I think so. So let me make a duplicate of those cat ears. And then let me just see what's an easy way to do this. Yeah, just move it on out right to the very edges of the frame and maybe shrink them a little. I don't like to have things cropped off, so I'm going to keep it right near the edge. Maybe tilted. There we go. Now the other ear. It's okay if this isn't so symmetrical because it's a violent explosion.
So this one will be just like this. Boom. I need a, side, a sound effect to go with it. Okay, do the ears or do the whiskers change? Yes. So the pop has now happened. So I want to, the big moment, it's the big change in the middle of the animation. And I hold down option and I say layer, merge visible. And I, sele I select all, I copy, I go to my stage and I paste it in on top. And then save my stage, command S, deselect and delete that merged one. And now I'm gonna save my assets because now I'm playing with everything. Now, if I go to my stage, it's a good time to run an animation test. So I go to Window, Timeline, Make Frames from Layers, drag the ones I don't need to the trash, hold down Shift, select them all, set the timing to be other at 0.3 seconds, put it on the screen, and hit Play. Poor cat gets more and more worried, and then boom. So now I need to keep that that explosion looking active for the rest of my frames as the exploding cat starts to freeze like a nuclear winter. I'm a real cat lover. All right. So if that animation makes sense. I don't need to save that as a GIF. I drag them all down to the trash, and I close the timeline, and we're back to the races. So now I can definitely turn off the ears. I don't need to worry about the eyes anymore. They're kind of set. I do need to keep playing with the whiskers and the mouth, let's see, I think the nose is good. The tongue groove, I can make a little bit darker, 20% darker. The whiskers, I can keep growing. Because after you're dead, your hair still grows for a little bit. Scientific accuracy is what we're going for with this animation. Now the eyebrows I can start having some fun with. So I'm going to make a duplicate of the eyebrows. And I'm going to start tilting them individually. Uh, they're made up of lots of things, so I need to select them all. There we go. I'm just going to tilt them, wiggle them back and forth a little bit. They're each made of three vector shapes. Just move them slightly. And the idea here is for, as the, the explosion is moving, the eyebrows are just gonna flutter between three different poses. So this is my second eyebrow pose now. And then I think I need the tongue maybe in its final position. And now the mouth will just start to sag and get more and more open.